the Queen's Viscount arrives at London Airport, where Prince Charles and Princess Anne are waiting to greet their parents. The royal bedtime rules for once relaxed by permission radioed from the airliner. Mr. James Jeffs, the airport commandant, leads the children forward, but is soon left behind. After all, they haven't seen their father for four months. After the private reunion, the royal family leaves the silver and red Viscount to meet the official welcoming party. The Deputy Lieutenant for Middlesex is the first to greet Her Majesty, followed by Prime Minister Harold Macmillan. The children take part in the formalities with grave dignity. Quite an achievement when they're bursting with questions about their parents' travels. The BEA Chairman, Marshal of the Royal Air Force, Lord Douglas of Kirtleside, welcomes the Queen and her family. A very happy thought. The Queen marks her homecoming by conferring the MVO on the Viscount's pilot, Captain Arthur Johnson. Time to go home. And this is where Prince Charles and Princess Anne win another victory. They've already had the rules suspended to come to the airport at all at this time of night. And now they ask if they can stay up even later and make a real evening of it. There's so much to hear about. And one of the things...